Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in the final station. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, please, please, please go do that, because none of this will make sense if you haven't seen any of them. We are just getting ready to leave New Costfield. Uh, this was a subway station that we had to explore, killed some monsters, killed some zombies, and the mysterious red box has been unloaded by our friend over there on the left. And he's refusing to leave without his friend, David. Uh, but as you guys know, David did not make it. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop on our train and start heading to our next location. We'll go ahead and punch our code in, 7829. And there we go. It's nice and green, and we can jump on. Ooh, and looks like we got an achievement. Get through the metro station without using a med kit. Well, we were pretty darn close to dying, uh, but we made it, so that is good. And the train rolls away from the station. So we can go ahead and heal ourselves up, and we'll have a, quite a few passengers who will need to be healed up as well. So he's good. Uh, let's go check this guy. He's got plenty of health as well. Uh, and they are talking. Looks like they're shopping when the attack occurred. While they're talking, let's see where our next location is. We are heading to Bristol, City of the Factories. After a number of failed attempts to find large electrum fields near Emmerich craters, researchers have saluted um, by a great breakthrough, blah, 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 blah. You can read that if you want. Um, and I think we just had a nuclear explosion in the background, so that's um, not good. All right, he's getting halfway down on health. He's getting a little hungry as well, so we'll just have to make sure we watch that. There's the mushroom cloud in the background. I'm assuming that's not good. Wasn't reading what they were saying, but there were people there. I think so. Sounds like they nuked the bad guys. Um, was the cargo a nuke, maybe? I don't know. Um, okay, he's getting hurt. So let's go ahead and heal him up. And how are we doing over here? He needs a health kit too. Uh, and then we'll go have to fix the, the uh, vents over here. Pull that all the way down. And there we go. That fixed that. All right, they're getting hungry. Hunger, health. How much food do we got? We got four food. Let's go ahead and give it to this fellow here. All right, he's back healed up. Looks like we're going through a city now on our little train. Yeah, I know you're hurt. Reward, $70 and two bullets. 140 bucks. Some pills. The main factory works. Let's go ahead and do a little crafting while we're waiting. Get ourselves some uh, health kits here. Oh, looks like we can't make any. How about bullets? We'll go ahead and make ourselves some pistol rounds. And let's see if we can make some shotgun shells. Nope, we can't make, we're arrived. So let's go ahead and pull on into Bristol and see what awaits us here. If you guys have been enjoying the final station, please leave a like on the video, comment on down below. I know someone said they uh, purchased this game because of me playing it. So thank you so much for that feedback. I do appreciate that. And looks like we've uh, completed an act. Two people did die. Rhonda Miles and John Cocker did not make it, but we got four other people here. Four of the six made it. So that's, that's pretty good. And we got rewarded quite well. We made 490 bucks and some ammo and some medication. So let's go and explore Ristol. Let's see what these people have to say. Nobody here knows what's going on, it appears. You should be fine. Once again, was what has bit you like that? So I'm guessing they're making sure it's not a zombie. This was kind of the um, conspiracy theorist guy. You have already figured out what's going on. Grab your family and save yourself, conductor. Oh yeah, you have an order. Uh, bleeding is now stabilized. Ambulance will soon arrive. He needs hospital treatment. This guy over here reminds me of uh, Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, in case anyone ever has watched that. That shirt, that pattern, and the, the head wound uh, makes it seem like that. All right, let's head into the station. Got a security guard running at us. Is he going to take his hat off? No? Okay. Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Peace, bro. Not much there. Bunch of people running around the office up here. Loot that. Ooh, a med kit. Eh, routes to the north are canceled. I'm sick of waiting to do my job. All right, sorry, I have work to do. Are you driving from the north? Is everything okay there? Uh, apparently not. Cannot contact them for some reason. Well, it doesn't help that it looks like our government nuked them. By the way, did you hear the strange noise about an hour ago? 
Hmm, nuclear, are you sure? I don't really understand. Yeah, it probably was a nuclear bomb. Loot this locker, some clothes, and CDs. Uh, lovely weather we've got, don't you think? Adam Thornton wants to see you. It's urgent, he said. Mind your tongue, mister. We owe him everything. Keep that to yourself, too. His office is on the top of Nebulizer Tower, visible from everywhere. You can't miss it. We have a driver waiting to quickly get you there. I'll have a code printed by the time you are back. All right, so we need to go talk to this fellow and then head on our way to the next stop. Some buses, a car. Uh, let's see, we can buy some newspapers. I guess we'll buy, buy the newspaper for 50 bucks. Bristol Police Department, under Adam Thornton's orders, has investigated and confiscated a ton of crushed electrum illegally sourced by Skamen Factory miners as Skamen Factory management was caught in an attempt to smuggle it out of Bristol. A reminder, any electric, electrum extracting activities within city premises should be licensed and taxed. Too bad after all these years we have individuals thinking they can steal minerals from my city. The example of today will remind everyone what happens for such a scam. There are rumors about increased increase in residents' mortality. As a scientist, I've heard stories like these since my first day working Risto. We have no interest in keeping our people in toxic, toxic atmosphere. We aim for every Electrum miner to live a long and happy life. Well, that's nice of them. Uh, so we read that newspaper. Newspapers gets more expensive by the day. News from the outside world will soon be a luxury. Probably. Okay, I don't want to talk to him yet because I'm assuming that's the guy that's going to take us. Let's do a little bit more exploring. See if we can get up here and talk to that guy. Talk to this lady here. Jack, your buddies again? Hmm, don't know what that means. I'm assuming that's him. Can we get up there? Nope. All right, let's go down this ladder. And down the street. Talk to this fellow here. Thanks, mate. A phone? Yeah, there should be a call box in the back alley. Uh, let's keep exploring. So we can buy some medical kits here. It looks like we've got three. So let's go ahead and buy. There we go. We're stocked up there. Ammo. Oh, of course we're going to buy ourselves some ammo. Laser sight. Extended clip. Ooh. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and buy another 10. Let's go ahead and buy all the pistol ammo. And we'll buy the, the shotgun ammo. Ooh, that shotgun ammo is expensive. Do we want the laser sight or do we want the extended clip? I think we want... Um, I think we want the laser sight. Yeah, put a laser sight on our pistol. Hmm, sure, why not? I'm not busy for the rest of the day. Guess that guy's going to our train. Uh, and then we can buy some food. There we go. And let's head up the hill to this little bus stop here. Thank you, but I'm not interested. Go annoy someone else. Nothing there. Some more guards over here. Okay, this might be, is this our taxi driver? Get into the car. You are being waited for. All right, so let's go back and look at everything else. And we know we have to come back to that car to go talk to Adam Thornton. I think it was Adam Thornton, right? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Let's uh, let's go back here and talk to the guy we skipped on the other side of the ambulance. Oh, we got to go up and over. And we'll go back down. Hello there, friend. He will be fine. Mark my words. This guy is from the plant. Uh, okay, that's all you had to say? Whatever. Looks like you got hit by a car. Poor guy. Uh, now let's go see if we can find that phone box in the back alley. Ooh, there's quite a bit in this back alley. Some people hanging out up there. Bird flying away. Alright, let's talk to... Uh, we are not open yet. If you look for a room, go upstairs. Loot this medical kit. Can't break the window. Anything here we can loot? Nope. Talk to this fellow by the plants. Oh ho. Run where? What for? Eh. Alright. Into the private rooms. Can we do anything in here? Nope. Down the ladder. Got ourselves a note. I've met the old man today. Looks like he has has lost his marbles already. Nonetheless, he was he has told me something very important concerning the first visitation. I must get to that canyon. 
but the train is only heading west in a week. I'll go north in the morning. It'll be faster this way. Looks like something about a canyon's coming up. Well, I have two rooms vacant. The first is to the right, but it needs some extensive cleaning. Some madman's been renting it. And then we have a separate lodging, but there is a leaking pipe. Feel free to look around. Oh, I will, don't you worry. And steal all your stuff. All right, so I don't think there's anything else on this side of the alley. Let's head the other way and see if we can find that phone. Back down the hill. So what do we got over here? Just another building. Bird on top of a sewer pipe. All right, into this building here. Another visitor. That's all you have to say? All right. Into the bathroom, nothing to steal from there. Gentleman in his office. Visiting my grandpa, are you? He's in his room, but please be quick. Oh, and spare him questions about settlers. His family had it rough back then. Nothing to loot over here. All right, Grandpa, what do you got to tell me? Yes, I have been there, the first visitation. I am often asked to speak about it, but I notice that hardly anyone truly listens. After all these years, I suppose nobody needs the truth. It all started with capsules falling from the sky. One of them has landed a block away from us. The gas around them was affecting people somehow. It's good you are you know already. Yet this detail is ignored by most. Not everybody was affected in the same way. <laughs> Sorry, talking ain't so easy for me now. Alright, so something about capsules falling to the ground potentially causing issues. Memoirs, Recollections of the Visitation. Everyone who got across the zone of visitation was treated badly. The very first night, locals burst into our tent and attacked us. They beat my father to death at the time and dragged my mom somewhere. I never saw her again. It appeared that none of the locals took the story seriously. They thought we were just migrants in search of a better life. A month later, Vermin White came to power. So it sounds like Gramps had a, a rough go of it. We can go down in the sewer there. Was there another? Uh, everyone who... Okay, we already read that. Back down here. Uh, let's go check the sewer out and then we'll go do the phone. Looks like we got a little whiskey cellar here. Hum, could you please shut the door before we're seen? Some people are uh, enjoying their last drinks. All right, let's go back to the phone and ring-a-ding-ding -ding and see what happens. All right, up the ladder and to the phone. I'm guessing we're going to try and call our family? All right, busy signal. I'm assuming we were trying to call, like I said, I'm guessing our family, but let's head back out of the back alley and we'll get in the car and go off to meet Adam Thornton. All right, here we go. Out of the back alley. Let's see if anything changes when we comes out. Nope. All right, so we already stocked up on food and ammo. Let's keep heading this way. To the car, there's the car. All right, let's hop on in and go meet Adam Thornton. I think that was his name. This appears to be his office tower. Good afternoon, are you on appointment? I will take a look. Well, yes, Mr. Thornton is expecting you, come in. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't wanna click that yet. Can I check her computer? Or no, her. Uh, the door's to the right, sir. All right. Looks like some people working on a, a drill, probably to mine that electrum. Uh, the crystal alone powers our plant and the whole city. Its condition, however, should be monitored persistently. Should a single surface overheat, well, terrible things will happen. Oh, a beautiful office with a beautiful view. All right, Mr. Thornton, what do you got? Uh, don't worry, I know it. Electrum dust in the air blocks out radio population, has a little idea of what's going on outside. The fog isolates them from the outside world and they tend to avoid this place. But this is none of your business. So I'm assuming that they is the, the people coming from the visitation. Hmm. Warn them if you must. I doubt highly they will believe. I would suggest we get down to business. Time is running out. A contract with the council binds me in case of the second visitation to give up the factory power core. 
to power the Guardian with it. The Council was to provide transport, but we should both know that your train is the only one running for miles around. My order is given. Power core will be attached to your train, so better hurry up. Blockers are in, are a stick in the wheel for sure, but that is up to you. See you soon. All right, so sounds like we've attached the power core to our train, and we will be taking that to the Guardian. Let's go see if we can get the code and head on out to our next stop. Nice little peaceful stop in Bristol. No, uh, no bad guys to kill. Interesting that the, the fog kind of protects them, but also isolates them from the outside world. I already read that newspaper. So let's go get ourselves the code. Uh-oh. Where's he at? Oh, here he is. All right. Grab our code here. To Joshua Bands, head of the Bristol Station. Blocker code confirmation 2388. Let's talk to him. The cargo is already attached. Have a nice day. Well, thank you, friend. And let's go see. Now we got ourselves a nice gray box attached to the train. And I think we got one or two passengers that will be heading with us to our next stop. Well, let's go ahead and end this here. I know this will be a little bit of a shorter video, but I think this is a good place to stop at the nice, peaceful visit at Bristol. If you've liked this and you have liked the final station, go ahead and give the video a like. That's a lot of likes in one sentence. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, comment on down below if you've been enjoying the final station. I have been. It has been a, a, an interesting game, and I'm glad I purchased it. We might have to check out the DLC eventually, too. And if you really, really have been enjoying this content, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next Final Station video.